this is a clever fight by McCullough. That was a really good punch there. Beautiful right by Darren O'Neill. And there is another medal for Ireland. Red Square, Moscow, one of the world's great historic sites. It was here in the Russian capital that nearly 300 fighters from 42 nations gathered last summer for the European Boxing Championships. Among them, the Irish, a squad of nine young boxers, all hoping to write themselves into the record books. It's 19 years since Ireland won gold at the European Championships. It's 12 years since we brought home silver. Here in Russia, a new generation of Irish boxers were dreaming of emulating the achievements of Dublin featherweight Paul Griffin, who won Ireland's last European gold in Gothenburg in 1991. The Irish squad from Moscow was young, with an average age of just 22. Young, but highly decorated, including two Olympic medalists, a world medalist, and two European medal winners. Not surprisingly, the mood in the Irish camp from the start was bullish. Definitely, we've every, there's nine boxers here, we've a chance of taking nine medals. That's the, the, that's the way the confidence is in the camp and that's the way the lads are feeling at the moment. Look at the time, 15 seconds to go, 14-13. Will this be decided after three rounds or will it be count back? One more punch will do it, just one more punch. That might have been it, that right hand there from O'Neill did get through and that scored. If I were marking it, I'd have pressed my button. The judges look to have done so too, Billy Walsh thinks so. And there's the Wexford dance for the man from Kilkenny. It's been a tough road for Darren O'Neill, but at last his patience and resilience has paid off. He's got that big medal, a bronze and maybe more to come. Ah, it's been the greatest moment of my sporting career yet, you know, one of the greatest moments of my life. From a young age, I've always wanted, you know, you've looked at Olympic Games and you've looked at the big medals and that's all I've ever wanted, you know, and if that's what's been keeping me in the game. It's hard for a Wexford man to, to praise a Kilkenny man, but <laughs> in this occasion I will. You know, Darren has been, you know, he was tr he was three years in the final, be beaten by Kenny. He was number two. He was two years behind Darren Sutherland. You know, and he, he stayed at it and stayed at it. You know, and he got his just rewards. And I can remember distinctly, and I saw pictures of his, the expression on my face, and I, as I jumped uh, right on the final bell up to the ringside to give him a hug and, and cried with him actually because. As you say, it's been an astonishing journey. I make no bones about it. It was, it was like a baby, but I do it again. You know, it was, it was the greatest moment. Uh, you know, just the greatest feeling I could possibly feel at that at that time. There was that, you know, that pain that I'd suffered for years. You know, I, I failed at Europeans on three different occasions. I failed the worlds, uh, you know, on different occasions against lads that I I could have beaten or should have beaten. And I just I remember thinking the night before, there's no way, I don't care, I'll go through a wall, this man is not going to beat me. And I think we mentioned Darren Sutherland there a few minutes ago, I remember saying to um, Jerry Hutsey the night before, I said, everybody will be on my side tonight, you know, I mean, everyone within Irish boxing, and I, I remember saying the night before, Darren will be looking down at me tomorrow. Coming up, Ireland's famous five go medal mad in Moscow. Nice performance by Barnes, and it's that one more point will absolutely seal it for him now. Inside the last 10 seconds, and uh, the Irish support, including Eric Donovan, they're his own colleague, and they're clapping him home because Paddy Barnes has been there in Beijing, and he's been here in Moscow, and Paddy Barnes has become the European champion, the first in 19 years for Ireland. Billy Walsh. Give him that huge hug. Just over the main cup, it's great for getting feelings around being European champion. What was it like when the bell sounded third round, you knew you were the new European champion? I think, oh, thank God, that's over. So the final tally, 
three bronze, one silver and one gold. Lifting Ireland to second overall in the final medals table, behind mighty Russia and ahead of 40 other countries. An achievement that marks out the 2010 boxers as one of the most successful Irish teams of all time. Never before has an Irish boxing team won five medals at a European Championships and watched the flag raised five times in a single day. Remember everybody in the crowd go mad when the, the national anthem was on. It was brilliant to see the Irish flag being raised, raised up so much and to be crowned as European champion. Yes, we had four million people, you know, you had, you had Russia with 145 million people on top of the, the, the medal table. You had Britain with 60 million behind us. You had Germany with 80 million. You had France with 60 million behind us. Yeah, all those people in Ukraine with you had 40 million behind us in the, in the medal table. You know, it's, it's, it's a phenomenal achievement. Uh, and it's, it's something that we're very, very proud of. This year alone, I couldn't have done any better. I'm European champion, Commonwealth champion. Next year, I'm going to be world champion. So, can't wait. <laughs>